morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Calabugas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future, not necessarily those, and not necessarily in that order. If you watch on YouTube, smack that subscribe button, hit that bell so you'll be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, this last week, I learned something new. Something new. Something I'd never, ever used before. An app I had never, ever, ever used before in my entire life. Never used it before. And in about a week, I got really good at it. I got really good at it. Now, it's not because I'm super smart, which I am, because you all know, you listen to this show, you wouldn't listen to me if I wasn't super smart. But the thing that I did differently this week is that I used ChatGPT as a tutor. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, Chris? How could you use ChatGPT as a tutor? It's actually pretty easy. And in fact, I find it much preferable to learning in any other way nowadays. I'll give you an example. So what do you do nowadays if you want to learn something new, right? If you want to learn how to, I don't know, um, unplug a toilet or, or, or fix a plumbing problem or electrical problem or something around the house or fix your skateboard or wherever, or you want to learn how to code a specifically difficult piece of code or whatever, how do you learn these things nowadays? Well, you probably go onto the internet and you search for it. So the first thing you do is you search for it. You search on Google and you get a crap load of ads. Not only do you get a crap load of ads, because of uh, you know, tracking and uh, re retargeting, you get that same ad over and over and over and over and over and over again. So if you went on there looking for plumbing help, you would get plumbing help ads forever, right? Or you would go to YouTube and you would search for, here's how I do something on YouTube. And because of the YouTube rules that videos can't be too short, that people have to take create these videos that are 8, 10 minutes long even though there's a simple fix. Let's say it's just like twisting this, this thing or tightening this nut or whatever. Whatever the actual specific issue is, is so small and minor. You don't need to watch an eight minute video to get to this one specific problem that you have. So what do you do? Do you listen to a podcast? No, there's all, too much junk in that too. There's no way to search it. How do you get to that? How do you very quickly get to a specific answer on a specific problem without all the junk of retargeting and ads and all the other things that are wrapped around the typical internet experience nowadays, right? Do you go to a different search engine? No, same problem, same problem, because you still get thousands of results. And if you're not specific enough on your result, on your question, then you're not going to get the right results. So where do you go? Who do you turn to? Well, some people might say, okay, forget about the internet completely and call up your local plumber or go to a friend who knows how to do plumbing and have him help you. Sure, that's a good way of doing it. But what if it's not plumbing? What if it's in the middle of the night and you don't want to bother anybody? ChatGPT. ChatGPT is your tutor. And in fact, it's one of the best tutors that there can be. Oh, sorry, I forgot about one thing. Quora. You can always go on Quora. You can always ask somebody on Quora. You can put the question into Quora and the crowd will come back to you. And usually what happens on Quora, because this is the way Quora operates, Quora is really there for people to just promote how wonderful they are. They only talk about how wonderful they are. Not only do they solve your problem, but they also talk about how wonderful they are. So if, you wanna, if you're okay with sort of wading, wading through the, the bragging, it's not even humble bragging, it's bragging. Oh, I, I made a million dollars in five minutes. Once you, by the time I was 22, once you get through the bragging that's on Quora, there's some good information there. But how do you get to the nub of the issue specifically? You go to ChatGPT. ChatGPT is your tutor. So this is what I did. I started working on this. And whenever I got stuck, I had ChatGPT in one window and I had myself in another window and I was working on what I was doing. And it was, it was a no-code solution that I'd never used before. And... I went into the window and I said, this is, I'm working on this no code, I'm working on a no code solution and I'm running into this problem. And you tell it exactly what you want to get past and it tells you exactly how to get past it. It's like having a really useful teacher standing beside you being quiet until you need them to talk to you and then you ask them a question and boom, here comes the answer. And not only that, the answer is pretty right. And then sometimes 
you would it would say something and because the interfaces of these things you know they change all the time it'd say oh sorry I was wrong with that but try this and try this try this try this and I was able to learn I mean it wasn't teaching me everything. it wasn't being prescriptive saying here learn this learn this learn this learn this because I, I have enough of a code background that I knew it kind of knew what I was doing I kind of knew what I was doing I just wanted to make my way through these last little bits of I'm not sure what's going on so having it sitting there tutoring me it was it was teaching me it was tutoring me whenever I got to a point where I was stuck was incredibly useful and I didn't have to worry about retargeting I didn't have to worry about ads I didn't have to worry about spending eight minutes watching a YouTube video to get to the nub of the problem that I wanted ChatGPT is a great tutor and of course because it's not recent data the thing whatever thing is that you want to get done has to have happened prior to September 2021 I still don't know why there's that cut off and nobody's given me a good answer but if it's something like that if it's software that's been around for a while or if it's code that's been around for a while if it's a plumbing problem or whatever try it not only that it actually remembers the context so you said yeah, I tried this before it'll give you something different to try out so as a generic problem-solving tool that has sort of a knowledge of the world behind it. Yes, it's been programmed by humans, and yes, there are human algorithms back there. But if you're asking for specific actionable insights on a specific issue that it knows about, then it can't be beat. It saved me so much time not having to junk around on the internet, which is so full of sales messages now that it's almost completely useless. So I suggest great use for ChatGPT is a tutor. So ChatGPT tutor, here it comes. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.